it's just the unexpectedness of it the sort of the universality of water of like how important it is to us all of how neutral i guess water seems a lot of the time to a lot of people how everyone feels an ownership over a, a piece of water and also i think particularly with the middle east is how the imagery of it is so dry and in the uk it's it's been pushed so heavily via films and the news and you know images that have been chosen to be of a desert to be um sand and oil you know the two things that we've got to think about when we think about the middle east um and so somehow thinking of it as a lush verdant place full of water yeah. Um, it disrupts that imagery that we've been kind of that's been forced on people who have not necessarily got much experience of the area um and it kind of i think it it does make them have to reassess why um an area was invaded I, i think there's something about if an area is dry and barren and the only thing it's got going for it is oil in a really messed up way it makes people feel like it's it's more of an okay target and like there's all these yeah. really subtle things that have been done throughout the years to make people feel like it's not that bad that this place is being invaded it's not that bad that this conflict is happening in this place and so just wanting to 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 take as many of those it's not that bad away um even though that's that's not valid it's not that bad it's not valid at all but um you know just trying to to constantly ask ourselves to reassess um the imagery that we have about certain places the assumptions that we have about certain places and people and and why those exist <laughs>